Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bender with Take Me Fishing, and I'm here with Christine Penn, who's the merchandising coordinator with the Orvis Fly Fishing Company. How are you doing, Christine? I'm great, Elizabeth. Well, uh, recently, RBFF and Take Me Fishing put out a report uh, that fishing participation for the female audience is up 17%. Now, this is making female anglers about a quarter of all anglers. Are you guys seeing this more on the retail brand side? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we run a Fly Fishing 101 program in our retail stores and some of our dealers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the female participation is, has been incredible, whether they're coming with their husband, their fiance, their boyfriend, a friend, you know, their kids. They, they want to get involved in the sport, which is awesome. And it's, uh, it's a great way for them to be active in the outdoors. So, Are you seeing any, uh, any uh, insights when it comes to what products the female audience is purchasing? Are they looking to buy something that is specifically oriented towards the female audience or are they just looking for the regular product? Um, so the big thing that we're finding is women are really looking for products that have the same features as a men's version but have uh, the fit for a woman. That's a big thing. So waders, for example, we just released our women's silver sonic waders this year and we spent a lot of time nailing down the fit. It's something that we really hadn't done a great job of before. Um, a lot of companies used to just kind of shrink it and pink it, um, do a men's version, size it down and not take into account the, the female body and, and what her needs were. Um, so that's been big for us. Um, so for the hard goods, it's a lot of those kind of pieces where there are some, some different um, fit tweaks that are needed um, that she's looking for, not necessarily a feminized version of something. Any thoughts on how the industry can keep this momentum going? Sure. So we've been really successful with our Fly Fishing 101 program, but now the trick is, um, so you've, you've got them interested, how do you keep them engaged in fly fishing? Um, and it's, it's one thing that we're still working through, uh, a lot of companies are. So whether that's, um, you know, weekend seminars in your store, maybe it's a specific, maybe it's bass fishing or steelhead fishing or whatever it is that might interest them, that next step in their fly fishing journey. We like to think of it as it's a, it's a learning experience. You never stop learning when it comes to fly fishing. So how do you take them? to that next step and that's really the trick to keeping them engaged is, mm -hmm. is you keep introducing something new so that's great uh, anything any predictions or thoughts or insight on what's gonna happen for Orvis in this next upcoming year Wow um <laughs> so we you know obviously we've got a lot of new products coming out next year mm -hmm. we're we're constantly growing as a company. Um, our goal is to, to put products out that we're proud to own or give. So that's step one. But step two is what I mentioned is, is um, that learning process and being that resource for people, whether it's through our learning center or the retail stores or our dealers or, um, you know, you name it, our customer service center, what have you. And it's, it's being there for them when you need them, regardless of their skill level. There are advanced people that still maybe have never gone tarpon fishing before um, and they're going on their first trip. And it's, it's getting them ready to go, giving them the information that they need so that they can just enjoy the trip. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Thanks, Elizabeth. For more information on the boating and fishing industry, visit us at takemefishing.org.